That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I said, people in the crowd, they're saying blue lives matter instead of black lives matter. And I just wanted to make sure I heard them correctly. These three people right here. They're agitators in the crowd. Pay attention. Quiet now. I noticed earlier they were just saying blue lives matter. So we'll keep our eye out on these people. There's a lot of people here today, and they are worried about people like that. So we're going to be careful. Tonight is going to be a night of destruction. We've heard hundreds of people ready to destroy. Louisville is a great community. They're not here to destroy their own. in the back you have a sign that says say her name you better say her name y'all better be chanting in the back it's a silent march it's very quiet in the back who streets who streets who streets who streets, streets? streets? keep that shit going y'all are allies speak up say her fucking name keep saying that shit We've learned from one of multiple protests. When you have a crowd this large, you gotta help them sometime. You gotta be the one to incite the, the chance. This is too big of a crowd for only one person to be around. So you gotta get people started to saying their name in the back. Just here last night, we were being chased by LAPD while they were cuddling the protesters and now to see this many people walking on the same very street that only 15 of us were walking last night. It's amazing. We're here in solidarity and they plan to do a curfew, a sit-in. Beautiful ripple effect from the beginning to the back. It's amazing. If only this could happen every single day. As many people are saying, protests are slowing down across the country. As much as everybody keeps talking about the bullet of Kennedy Walker, as you can see here today, Sam Aguilar, Brandon Taylor's lawyer, put out images that show that Kenneth Walker's bullet was not the one that hit the officer's leg. So if we can move on to the next subject and stick onto the facts here, it would be great. Thank you very much.
is over 120 days of marching since George Floyd and over 181 days for Breonna Taylor. I'm not gonna be kind to people who are out here. If you don't know what to do at a protest by now, if you do not understand that you are out here to chant, not just to walk, because if it was a silent march, I would understand. I would have kept it quiet. But we are here to say her name, so they better say her name. Because if you're not here to do anything other than be quiet and watch, what's the point? Make noise. Make sure they hear it. I said I love being black. I said I love being black. Excuse me, love. And I'm a rocket everywhere. I said I love being black. I don't want to say what the other fucking name. Freeway. I'm 
beat it. Hold, on, hold, on, hold the front line. Hold the front line. Officers around the corner. I wish. I, oh, I wish I could zoom. Y'all can't fucking see it, but. Let's see what LMPD has. Oh, this is where we actually have. We're literally in downtown Louisville. And I know that last time when we walked by, we did see them have the police and a couple of the SWAT teams. But I think today they just have the National Guard protecting downtown. Although the protesters are still chanting behind us, I just want to go take a look around the other side. protesters make you know the turn. Bike brigade is going in a different direction. But I think there's a lot of protesters. Peace, fuck these racists, ass, fuck these. 
many people did. So many people did. People came from all over the country to show solidarity for Lewis Brown and the injustices that was received for the for the Brown Taylor case. They go for a thousand people at this other shut down. And they are showing solidarity. And they are showing all this going on. Tracking the traffic to go through. Helicopters are looking at them. Y'all honk for justice. Honk your horn for black lives. Honk your horn for black lives. Honk your horn. Show some solidarity. Where's that spell? Let the bikes go. Let the bikes go. 
Maestro. Wheel to wheel. Mike Brigade need to be wheel to wheel, wheel to wheel, wheel to wheel. You're on the barrier, wheel to wheel. Stop yelling at the military. 
Big crowds. Okay, big crowds is why you need chanters in the front, the back, side to side to keep the chance going. Because people are quiet. Here's the crowd. Now they're getting my life. people needing people to leave the chance there's plenty of enough people here to create chance and keep it going now we're at the back of the line i hate when the crowd dies off that's why y'all if y'all want to send me some donations to be able to get a megaphone so I won't keep shaming my voices in a seat. You got all these allies out here, but nobody want to say their name. Nobody want to chant. Everybody want to walk and take pictures and act like they're protesters in a revolution. But y'all can't even chant it. Y'all can't even say her name. Y'all need someone else to start the chance for you to rebuttal. Come on, man. This is so, oh, this is so.
our friendly National Guards. What I like is that those same ones send me the National Guard, Homeland Security, FBI, all of this to protect buildings, y'all, but then they don't charge any of the officers involved. And the Breonna Taylor case is just getting weirder and weirder and weirder the longer we stay in Louisville. But that's why we're sleuthing. We don't react, we ask questions, and we figure it out. First of all, you know what's not constructive? You're on my live telling me how to run my life. You're not even on the streets. It doesn't do anything. Telling them and having them do it is one thing. Constructive criticism, you've never heard of it? You should finish your sentence. I've been city to city telling people about themselves everywhere they go. If you on your keyboard and you're not out here chatting, I'm talking to you too. Stop telling people what to do unless they're doing it too. Now I'm out here chatting, so I damn sure I'm gonna tell all these people that they should continue chanting and not wait for somebody else to start to chant. You hear it? Black Lives Matter. Black lives matter. Keep it up. Keep going. Y'all don't need to keep going. It's over a thousand people out here. So what now? What was that you were saying? Because I heard it and they're chanting now. So thank you. And they got creative. They got creative. They started adding different ones. I'm actually going to Atlanta Lex. I'm excited to see how they, they do it out there. I hear y'all, y'all be out here every day. Now because of the Attorney General's decision, they've now changed the chance, not only for if we don't get it, shut it down, to since we did not get it, shut it down. Because we know they did not receive justice. So there's no point. Now that there's been no justice, there shall be no peace. And I don't want to hear nothing else about them looting and rioting and doing whatever. America had a chance to get it right. And once again, they failed them down and showed them how the black woman is the most disrespectful woman in America. So don't be mad at the youth now. They were being good. But now, it's a wrap. It's a whole bunch of white people. Thank you, Dave. Black people kill black people, white people kill white people, Mexican people kill Mexican people. Thank you for making a general fact. We know it's called humans killing humans. It's called murder. You, you made a general ass statement. It's called murder. But if you want to be accurate, it's called proximity killing which is why you've never hear people keep saying white on white crime, but you accept black on black crime. So learn it, change the narrative and know that it's proximity killing. Now we're returning back at the square where we first started off doing a small little march around the block, get everybody's legs all jumbled up, get them ready. Yeah, we got more again, uh, I interviewed, uh, I got interviewed by uh, British Black <laughs> 
It's not a joke. It's not a photo op. That's right. right. That's right. They out here fearing for their lives. Now you got the privilege to come out here and show support. So fucking show it. Show it. out here i'm blessed to have been able to get a chance to speak to the people of louisville and i'm gonna let y'all know right now i know y'all be thinking oh well why didn't you give a shout out i know i'm sweating and shit because right now i want to make sure people understand that louisville is under attack they're under attack in ways i've never even seen and as much as everybody wants to keep bothering them they still have snipers on the roof y'all they like right now let me turn the camera to show you snipers right there i can't zoom in on hats but the snipers on top of the building so as much as i want y'all to know i don't want to be out here marching i don't want to be out here covering the shit i want to be at home and join the or something you feel me but we out here so speak up press is out here trying to take pictures and evangelist people you got people out here trying to create books about their future and about the revolution but they won't donate to a black business bullshit on snipers you know what's wrong y'all trump supporters that's what's wrong with y'all literally showed y'all the snipers and here y'all are talking about some it's bullshit on the snipers it's bullshit so let me let me let you want me to go up the elevator go up to the top floor Ask the snipers, excuse me, snipers, can y'all come down here to show my followers? Because they're so goddamn, like, come on now. Let me get a little bit closer. I'll give it to y'all. Get a little bit closer. First of all, I wasn't talking to y'all. I'm on two different platforms right now. When I talk about donating, I'm on my Instagram. I already know y'all, y'all ain't gonna donate. Y'all ain't about the revolution. Y'all about our destruction. It is for the protest. Oh, look, I feed the trolls because I'm a troll. So here y'all go with your snipers on the roof. You're probably thinking that those are Barbie dolls and I placed them up there, but no, they're not. So. Because as much as people think that I don't have multiple platforms to stream on, <laughs> y'all get on my nerves. If you buy my story, you'll see you'll see um, places for me to get donations. Oh, that's why we don't shoot it off. They don't make sure to shoot it off. <laughs> There's so many people in the crowd. I love the support. <laughs> he said those are crisis actors. I love y'all. I know the crowd is huge, though. I'm not going to lie. The crowd is huge. And we know we have people coming out here in solidarity from different cities, but I just want to 
check. My 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 check. I love my checks. All the hand sanitizers and PPE that they do have out there. Stickers. Yes, yes. This is perfect. Thank you. I'm 
disappear. <laughs> All these people that are out here, if you're gonna be out here to actually say your name, there's no point of holding a sign that says say your name and then I literally don't even hear you saying your name. So if you're gonna be allies, speak up. Yeah. I know my voice is tired. I know I'm tired of marching. I know I don't wanna be here. So if we could, you know, we can move with purpose. See, and I'm going down to Atlanta. I'm a documentary filmmaker traveling around the country covering these protests. So that's why I was just like, I was my fourth time back to Louisville. And I'm like, I fell in love with the city. I'm yeah. like, y'all know, like, be out here. I've been out here. I've been with them. Like, y'all yeah. were not out here. I was, and like, yesterday, the cops were killing us, and the 15 year old girl got lost with her family. So I had to stay with her the whole night so we could find her. So I'm like, it was terrible. But yeah. they frightened, and they don't want to come back protesting. This is what I'm trying to tell people. Like, the youth is out here putting yeah. their life on the line. Yeah. And that's why we came. We, okay, like, we came back. We came back. Yeah. Good. So, um, so you have to do is just like a normal picture, like you're ordering a menu. Oh, mm -hmm. oh look at me. I'm old. Oh, no, no, no. That's why I like it. I'm old. Yeah. yeah. I don't even got to take the picture. It's going to pop up. Boom. That's how you do it. You feel me? It's coronavirus. Yeah. That is called Ash. So you see how I'm on live right now? Yeah, what's your name? My name is Ashley. Ashley, I'm Tiffany. Tiffany, pleasure to meet you. Tanisha. 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 Okay, thank you. Of course. Oh, I'm originally from Portland, so my family is from Yeah. No, I went there, girl. That's when my, the U.S. government shot me. I uh, am uh, like, no, uh, they they're going up in Portland. Yes. And not only with the wildfires and on top of that, like Portland is getting hit heavy. And uh, my second base is Seattle, so I'm calling to keep going back and forth, back and forth. A PDX about to go in this weekend. Yeah. And y'all ain't here. Yeah. I know. We got to come here. I know. It's closer. I was like, it's closer here anyways. But I'm glad that you guys are out here. They are going to do another march later on. They just keep marching all day and all night. But um, um, if you're going to stay here after curfew, they're going to do a whole bunch of like announcements to let people go home and make sure you get there safely. But they don't play with the curfew thing out here. Yeah. So, oh yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people here, so I know they're gonna be like on their BS today. 
So be safe. Be back tomorrow. Don't get locked up tonight. You dig? Stay safe, ladies. My pleasure. My pleasure. He's just, the he's just running to the other side. I'm not running over there. But um, I just want to let people know, agitators are going to be in the cross tonight. They're going to be, with the size this big, there's going to be multiple agitators, and you have to conserve your energy when dealing with agitators. Jesus, everybody in this state got a gun. He went into the other side. I want it to be this, but it's been this, so when you have this many people that are not from Louisville, that are out here, you can only hope for a peaceful night. Agitator. Hopefully they're not.
Jesus. I'm going to charge my battery and potentially come. Yeah. Yeah. Valid plan. But I'm going to come back potentially. I don't know. Because every time I come on this platform and after there's some shit that go off, y'all love it. And I don't think I want to see, I don't think I want you guys to watch protesters getting hurt on my platform. But I will be on Instagram. So, to the loo, stay dangerous. <laughs> 